Well, hello, and welcome to my humble abode. Oh, did you think you were coming in? Oh, you need the secret password. It's a uh, cat's rule, dog's drill. Come on, let's go. What's up, guys? It's Allie from Allie Abroad, and today's episode is super special because I'm gonna be giving you a full tour of the awe-inspiring, jaw-dropping, beautiful, stunning, all the things Sugar Beach property, which is a Viceroy Resort, and it is located smack dab in the middle of St. Lucia's most iconic landmark. We're gonna get to that in just a second, but we got a lot of ground to cover today, so uh, let's get going. Let me state the obvious and say that you cannot beat the views here at Sugar Beach. The resort is quite literally built right in between St. Lucia's two iconic twin pitons. So right behind me, you're looking at Petit Piton, which is essentially this like dormant volcanic plug that juts 2,500 feet into the air. And then if you look right over here, slowly but surely, <laughs> you see the larger of the two pitons, which is Gro Piton. Privacy is really the name of the game here. The resort is located on 100 acres of pristine rainforest, directly looking out on the Caribbean Sea. Now, getting to the resort from the International Airport is about an hour drive, and Sugar Beach can help arrange your transportation. Ooh, and for any history buffs or fans of the royal family, I think you're gonna like these fun facts. Lord Glen Connor, friend of Princess Margaret, was the original visionary behind what is now Sugar Beach. So one day he just happened upon a valley with an abandoned sugar plantation situated between the two pitons and was immediately enchanted. He bought it and set about creating his own paradise even building his own Taj Mahal inspired home near the property, which can still be seen today from the water. Unfortunately, Glen Connor didn't live to see his vision realized, but former owner Roger Myers credits Glen Connor's eye for the resort's success. Now, let me give you the skinny on the guest rooms because the luxuries here are seriously next level. We stayed in one of the resort's luxury grand villas, and there's really quite a few different room categories at Sugar Beach, but what's consistent throughout is this crisp, clean white decor in each of the rooms. You'll find an espresso machine, mini bar, four poster bed, and these flat screen TVs that rise out of this super sneaky box. Plus, there's plenty of space to spread out. Oh, and the shower is massive, and lucky for us, so is the closet. But I gotta say that what really makes Sugar Beach so unique are the unbeatable views waiting for you right outside your room. Plus, these villas are very secluded, so you really feel like you kind of have your own private home nestled into the jungle. If you want to go anywhere or if you need anything, um, what is so cool about Sugar Beach is we have our own personal butler, and I gotta say, I think our butler team is the best. You just get this, your own personal cell phone, and you call it and you say, hey, well, let me show you. We were wondering if we could maybe possibly get a ride down to the beach. Awesome, okay, we'll see you soon. Thanks, bye. Okay, now when it comes to what to do at the resort, your options are literally endless. From sunset boat cruises, snorkeling, hiking, waterfall tours, kayaking. Like, I'm not kidding when I say you will never get bored. Now, some of my favorite activities the resort offered was the Superman waterfall tour, which takes you through the lower mountain forest to this 70 foot waterfall, which was featured in the 1980 Superman movie, hence the name. <laughs> you can take a dip and enjoy the natural mud bath before hiking out. And if you're feeling even more adventurous and up for a bit of a sweat, you should absolutely consider their Gros Piton hike. Or for a bit of a different perspective, you can catch some incredible views of the Pitons from the sea on one of the resort's boat cruises. But if all you wanna do is plop your booty on the beach and catch some rays, then you do you, boo. And since we're on the subject of total relaxation, you absolutely must check out the resort's Rainforest Spa, which has these 
iconic treehouse treatment rooms. Yes, you heard that correct. Come on, I'll show you. The spa really pulls its inspiration from the natural resources of the island and infuses its treatments with elements of the volcanic hot springs, beach, and cocoa plantations. I just finished an anti-stress massage and <gasps> life-changing. I decided to get the anti-stress massage because I figure I need to work out all of the 2020 kinks. You feel me? Let me tell you about my favorite subject, food. And Sugar Beach really covers all the bases when it comes to various restaurants and bars to suit all your dietary needs. You'll have the option to have breakfast in your room or at the Terrace restaurant. Make sure you order the Eggs Benedict, and if you can, order some of their fresh mangoes, cause they're insane. Now, for a more casual beachside dinner, you'll want to snag a table at Bayside Restaurant. Order the Mahi Mahi and reserve a table around sunset for the most epic views. Or if you're looking to go full glam, I'd make a reservation at The Great Room, which is the resort's fine dining restaurant and is expertly decorated with eye-catching artwork and a mouth-watering menu. As for other bars and dining options, you've got your choice of bupas for your grab-and-go needs, beachside dining, which is a personal favorite of mine, and the Cane Bar and Sushi Lounge, where the colors and artwork quite literally pop off the walls. Okay friends, if you are looking for the ultimate luxury retreat and really a place where you can kick up your feet and relax and take in the most breathtaking views, Sugar Beach needs to be at the top of your list. Whether you're a family that's looking for a spring break destination or a honeymoon couple that's looking for the ultimate romantic getaway or heck, even a mother-daughter duo like me and Linda who's doing like a mom-daughter moon, <laughs> this resort honestly caters to every type of traveler. And one thing that I failed to mention earlier on, every single staff member is so incredible. They go above and beyond. They're so happy to interact with you and help you with whatever you may need. They're so happy, so joyful. And honestly, you leave here feeling like you have a bunch of friends who are ready to welcome you back to St. Lucia when you return which you ultimately will because Sugar Beach is just that good. You cannot just come one time. So um, if you want to learn even more about St. Lucia and dive even deeper into this trip, I'm gonna link up here my vlog from last week where I kind of go even more in depth into all the things that we did here in St. Lucia. So definitely check that out. And if you wanna know more about you know safety protocol and what it's like traveling internationally right now, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and you hit that notification button because that video is coming up soon but until then I have a full bottle of Prosecco that is sorely needing my attention so I'm gonna get to that and I'm gonna sign off and I hope you have a great rest of your weekend safe travels everyone Mwah!